On my review table today is the new WowTac A4 thrower. It uses a Cree XHP 35 high LED and a deep reflector, as you can see there, to achieve the claimed 820 meters of throw out of about 2,000 lumens. The A4 follows the older established design of, using, of a thrower by using two 18650 batteries in series here in the tail. Thanks to WowTac for sending me this light to take a look at. Here is the WowTac packaging. It's just a cardboard box, fairly simple. On the end you got WowTac, and on the back side here is some interesting information. You've got the A4 in cool white and neutral white, and the A4, the A5 in cool white, neutral white, battery included or excluded. Mine should have had this battery excluded uh, check box because it didn't come with batteries. And at the time of filming, the neutral white version of the A4 isn't available either. Inside is pretty simple. The light sits in this uh, holder here. You get the manual, which is pretty good. And the only extras my light came with is two extra O-rings and an extra inner button seal. And then the light itself. It did come in a uh, like kind of plastic bag. This light is made from aluminum and anodized in a semi-gloss black finish. And it's pretty even without any flaws. Any flaws you see in this is because I've been using it. The tail cap here is got a little bit of a design on it, most a little bit recessed. And you do have a lanyard loop hole there. It's got knurling on it that's pretty aggressive, which I like. If we take the tail cap off there, you've got a fairly stout spring. Um, and the threads in the body tube here are Acme cut. The body tube is one piece of long aluminum and it's pretty symmetrical. You can reverse it 180 degrees if you want. It's the same. Threads are square cut and uh, it feels pretty nice in the hand. I like this deep knurling pattern that we've seen. It's fairly aggressive and I think for a little bit longer light it fits decently in the hand. Not the best, but decently. If the head of the WowTac A4 looks similar, that's because it is. The Thrunite Catapult V6 here, and I'll bring this back, is pretty much the same thing. If we look at the tops, they're, they're pretty much the same. There's the Catapult V6, and there is the WowTac A4. We, we look around here and there's not a lot of differences in these two. The big difference is the Thrunite has USB recharging, the WowTac does not. But they use the same button, they use the same front bezel, even the same LED emitter. The main difference is the WowTac A4 has a little bit more uh, bit to it here to allow it to fit 18650s, whereas the Thrunite V6 uses uh, a 26650 battery, so a little bit fatter. This all makes sense because WowTac receives technical assistance from Thrunite on their designs. Think of WowTac as kind of the value brand for Thrunite. This is good though for both companies. It helps increase the volume of manufacturing and lowers costs for both. And ultimately those costs are then passed on to you, the consumer. As I was mentioning before, the reflector is deep and uh, smooth. And this front bezel does come off. Um, I'll insert some pictures here of when I had it off. I didn't really have any problems there. The button itself here is silver and metallic. And it does untwist with the right tool. And that center point there, you can see an LED. And uh, it's blue when the light is on. You can see there. And it turns red when there's less than 20 power 20% power and it turn, it blinks when um, there's less than 10% power. I measured the length of the A4 at 202 millimeters, maximum diameter at 58 millimeters in the head, minimum diameter 25 millimeters in the uh, body there, and weight with batteries is 321 grams and the light is IPX8 water rated. Just some additional size comparisons here of additional uh, lights that are kind of similar. On top, I've got the Claris XT32, and uh, they claim a thousand meter throw out of that. The head of it's just a little bit bigger and the light's longer because of the uh, tactical tail switch on it. But other than that, they're fairly similar. And then the Thrunite Catapult uh, V6 here 
As you can see, those heads are pretty much the same. The through night is shorter, as I was saying, due to the battery configuration and thicker in the head, but they really share a same design philosophy. The WowTac A4 uses a Cree XHP 35 HI LED in cool white. Um, it sits in front of a deep, smooth reflector with an anti-reflective coated glass. The LED is nicely centered and its tint is cool white and fairly neutral. The beam pattern here at close ranges produces a donut. That's fairly normal for this LED. Um, at really thing over about a foot, you don't notice it. But what I wanted to show here is that really hot center and there's minimal spill and what spill there is, it's a hard cutoff. It's a very effective beam for a thrower and it's pretty identical to that Catapult V6. Here I am with my night shots for the WowTac A4 and I've got it out here on Firefly. And normally uh, Firefly mode doesn't work or show up on camera here but because this light is such a thrower, um, you actually can see it on camera. So here is the light on low, and this is from memory, it's about 22 lumens. Um, I've got a sign down there, it's probably 40, 50 feet, and it's further than that, away. And it shows up decently, bumping up to medium here. Here we can really start to see the beam, you can start to see the spill there, you can see that cut off. You can see how tight this beam is on this uh, Cree XHP 35 high LED. And here is medium mode. You know, this sees to the end of my paddock pretty well. I've got a tree, it looks like it's fallen down, had some storms, parking lot's wet here. Here is turbo, not a lot of difference here between high and turbo to the eye, but visibly you can see it throw further. You can see that sharp cut off on the edge and you can really see that beam on camera throwing well. It's really just a very tight beam. Now on the left here, I've got the Thrunite Catapult V6. It runs a very, very similar, or if not the exact same um, emitter. And then I've got the WowTac on the right. And these are pretty much identical lights and I'm trying to run them on the most identical modes I can on the left and on the right. So I've got them both here in turbo. You can see they are very, very similar. On the left is the through night, on the right is the WowTac. Different form factors of lights, but performance wise, they're very similar. You can see the uh, through night here has that sharp cutoff as well, as does the WowTac. Both fantastic lights, and you can see the tint here. This is, these are cool white, but they look pretty neutral to me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Heat with this light really isn't too much of a concern. That big head does a nice job of dissipating the heat created when all 2,000 lumens are on in this light. The UI of this light's pretty straightforward. From off, you long press and you get your firefly mode of half a lumen. Starting at low, which is a single press, you get 22 lumens. Medium mode here, I just did a quick stab, is 180 lumens. And high mode is 950 lumens. You can just uh, keep long pressing when the light's on and it light will cycle through all three of those modes. At, when the light's on, just double click and you'll get to turbo. And that is a maximum of 2000 lumens. And the light has a strobe feature. When you're in turbo, just double click again. Basically two double clicks will get you into turbo. It's, uh, UI is pretty simple here, nothing too complicated. I performed my runtime test with two through night 3400 milliamp hour protected battery, 18650 batteries. Um, total runtime was just shy of 140 minutes in my runtime test. Turbo runtime was consistent with 1.5 minutes of turbo that, th that uh, WowTac claims. The light stepped down nine times over 22 minutes until it stabilized and ran for the remaining 120 minutes before an abrupt shutoff. And you'll see that in my graph here. And step downs were not the smoothest, uh, but they were somewhat dramatic. My light didn't ship with batteries, uh, which is a first for WowTac. Most of their lights uh, always come with batteries. You don't have that option here. But since this is this little bit more expensive model, I can understand uh, giving people the option. 
It does look like they're planning to offer it with batteries. And it needs two protected button top 18650s. I'm running through nights here from lights that I have. But uh, any really button top 18650 that uh, is will work. They do recommend protected batteries in the manual. Uh, flat tops without buttons or protection are too short to make contact. Um, but I did make it work with some uh, LG HG2s with a magnet spacer. Working voltage is 5.5 volts to 8.4 volts, and there is no extra room in the tube here. So CR123As or 18350 cells or 27, uh, 2700 cells aren't options for the WowTac A4. 2018 seems to be the year of the thrower. And I've had several that I've gotten to review, and these won't be the last either. I've not been disappointed by any of them. A through night catapult V6 above has a super similar head to the WowTac A4, and they use the same LED. However, they give different throw distances. The WowTac claims 820, while the through night claims 750. My assumption is that that WowTac is driving the LED just a little bit higher voltage due to the batteries in series. Both are great options. Um, I, I kind of prefer that through night size in my hand just because it's a little shorter. It's a little easier to throw in a bag or carry in a coat pocket. That's not to say the uh, A4 has any problems. It's your more traditional design. It's uh, proven and quite good. So for me, the pros are this is a high value light for a 2X 18650 thrower. Um, the Claris that I tested earlier in the year, which has kind of been my go-to for throwers, uh, that light was around $100. The A4 sells for under $50 right now. I like that the WowTech A4 offers a half aluminum mode that throws pretty well due to that reflector geometry. And uh, it should be pretty simple to change the emitter on this one if you wish. You can unscrew this bezel, get the reflector out, and then that circuit board comes loose. Although you'll still have to be pretty good at soldering and have to kind of solder that board on in place. And I like the minimal, tasteful branding on this light, just the uh, wow tack there and, and the serial number and any marks there, and that's it, nothing else. The cons are no batteries were included with mine, uh, but it does look like wow tack is going to be offering this light with batteries. And I only like the lights were offered in a cool white at the moment, but they do uh, seem to be planning to offer a neutral white based on the packaging. My conclusion is that 2018 seems to be a popular year for throwers, and I'm enjoying that so far. The WowTac A4 offers everything you'd want in a budget-oriented handheld thrower in a narrow but longer package. I think that this is a nice option for people who have a lot of 18650 batteries and a charger already or don't need USB charging. This form factor has been proven over the years, and people are always wanting to go back to that kind of mag light style flashlight where you got a little bit bigger light and body, this is one for them. I think the WowTac A4 is an affordable option with a great beam profile for long distance throwing at a very affordable price. If you've got a WowTac A4 or want one, let me know in the comments what you think of it below. As always, I'll have links to where you can pick the A4 up on Amazon and other retailers. Remember, you can order on WowTac Direct's website as well. As always, I appreciate you sticking through and watching this video. As always, liking and subscribing will help me bring more content like this to you. Thanks for watching.